Hi guys, welcome to 2022. It is time to do a luxury and contemporary brand wish list. Are you ready? Because I only kind of am. Hi people of YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. I haven't done that in over a month, and it all came back to me like riding a bicycle. I would like to shorten that though for the new year and I have not yet had time to do so. I have my laptop with me which has folders, I'll show you, folders of different brands, Chanel, Fendi, Gucci, Karl Lagerfeld, Longchamp, Louis Vuitton, Versace, and Coach is in my brain. And I'm just going to go through each of these folders and tell you what's on my wish list from each of those brands. Let's start with Chanel. We'll just go in alphabetical order here. From Chanel, I should scoot over so I can put pictures up here next to me. From Chanel, as always, I want to add one of these flap card holders. I already have one. I love it. I use it all the time. It is my favorite little compact wallet card holder thingy. And I want to get another one in another color. Now I have noticed that I've got some corner wear on it, which disappoints me because of that price point. I think these are about $550 now. So that makes me question getting another one a little bit, but then it also is justification for getting more of them because then each one would get less use as I switch them out, right? I just need a bunch of them and then each one will be used less often and it'll be less likely to get that wear, right? Good justification there. The only Chanel bag that I want right now, besides of course a reissue in black, which will never happen, and I'm very happy with my reissue in bronze. Love that bag so much. I would love to get a Chanel walk. I have been carrying small bags for a while now, the past few months. I'm loving it. A Chanel walk might be too small for daily use, However, I think it would have its place in my collection. And the one that I would like to get the most is the boy style walk. And there are sort of two of these that I have noticed. I'm sure there are other versions as well, but on some, the flap, the front flap goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, not what I want. On another one, the flap ends about an inch below the bottom of the bag. That is what I want. I think that gives it more dimension and visually to me it just looks better. I would like this probably in the black with the silver hardware which would be the most expensive because it's the most desirable but also the most common and I would like to pay less than two thousand dollars for it and that is something that I think I should really try to add this year because as we know the prices only go up. And as of right now that's pretty much all I want from Chanel. There's also an item I would like from Coach except I haven't decided for sure if I want to get it or not. I keep thinking about it, especially since I saw it in person recently, but I just can't make up my mind about whether to actually get it or not. And that is the Coach Pillow Tabby 18 centimeter in the buttercup color. Now what I love the most about this bag is the color. And I know that they have some other bags in Buttercup, but I don't like any of the other bags, except maybe the Swinger 20, but I think that wouldn't work terribly well for me. I think I like the Coach Pillow Tabby the best. That's what I keep coming back to. And last time I was at the Galleria, which was during Vlogmas, and I showed you guys this, I was in Neiman Marcus, and they had this exact bag. And I picked it up, I held it, I filmed holding it. One thing I didn't do was open it up and like fit my phone inside. I've been watching videos on what fits in this bag and almost nothing fits. And that's the thing that's really holding me back. And I don't want the large size. First of all, they don't have that in the buttercup color, but there's such a huge size difference. The, the 18 is about this big. And then the other one, 26, I think, is like this big. And I wish they just made one in the middle. That would be the perfect size bag. I know I would love the color. I know I would wear the color because that is part of my capsule wardrobe color selection. That sort of mustardy yellow. I just can't decide. The bag is $400, which, and I mean, that's fine, I guess. But, and it's not going to go on sale. It was like 10% off sometime during December and that wasn't even enough to get me to jump on it because that's not that much. But I also worry that the Coach Pillow Tabby is going to be out of style very quickly or it already is. Cassie Thorpe did say in a recent video that 
that's a trend that's going to continue. She mentioned specifically the pillow tabby, and she very rarely talks about contemporary brands. So I thought that was notable that she said that, and I definitely trust her opinion. She's fabulous. If you don't know Cassie, I will link her channel below. You, you need to know Cassie. She's amazing. From Fendi. I would like something from Fendi. There's one thing you guys already know about, which is the Fendi spy bag. I had a chance to buy one in the snakeskin last year, and it was so cheap, it was like $400, and for some reason, I took time to think about it, like less than a day, and somebody else, of course, bought it out from under me, because why wouldn't you? Why would you be stupid enough to think about that and not just buy it? So I missed that one. I'm still looking for the perfect Fendi spy bag, preferably under $500, preferably under $400, but we'll see. And I appreciate those of you who have sent me links, several of you have, to spy bags that you've seen, because you know I'm looking for one. I have been for a few years. Still haven't found the perfect one. It has to be in top-notch condition, too, and I... It, my standards are probably a little too high, or my requirements with the price, but I would like one. Um, the other thing I want from Fendi is something that has the Fendi FFs on it. I forget what that's called. It's like their monogram print. But, oh, Zuka, the Zuka print. And maybe I could just get a spy bag that has that and that would fill both of those spaces. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Fendi is so expensive. I love their Fendi First Clutch. Cassie just got one of those for Christmas. But oh my gosh, the prices. It's like they think they're Chanel. Gucci. Two things I want most at Gucci. This green card holder, which I had on my Christmas wish list. No one has purchased it for me, so I may have to purchase it for myself. Understandably, it's an expensive item. And then this bag which I saw a while back on the Real Real, didn't buy it, kicked myself. Now there's one available on another site, but I'm a little wary about it because it's an individual seller. It's one of those sites. It's not eBay, but something like that. And it's been up there for months and months, and it's a fantastic price. And I'm wondering why it hasn't sold and if there's something scammy going on with it. But this is the Gucci Dionysus Hobo, and it has the Gigi Supreme print which I want a bag with that. And then it has these flowers and the patches. I think the colors would be perfect with my wardrobe. I, I should buy that bag. But what if it's a scam? I don't know. Part of me wants the Ophidia tote, but part of me is like no more totes because I've been carrying small bags. I haven't even carried, and that's another thing about the hobo is I haven't been carrying the hobos I already have. I've just really been into small bags lately. So that's something that's keeping me from buying that. Karl Lagerfeld. I don't have anything other than this top from Karl Lagerfeld yet. There is this little bag, which I think is adorable, and it reminds me of the little Chanel cosmetic mini tiny things. And it just went onto their sale page. If it's still there, I'll link it for you. They have it in a gold, a black, and then this amazing turquoise that kind of changes color, sort of a mermaidy, mermaidy effect. That's a word, right? I just feel like if I got that, it would be a decorative piece, because what can you put in it? Nothing. So I don't plan to get that, but it really stood out to me. And I've been looking at Karl Lagerfeld stuff lately, but I feel like the quality is probably not there. Am I right? Those of you who have some of their bags, what do you think? Let me know. Very contemporary. I feel like I'd be disappointed with the quality if I got it. Longchamp. 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 I was trying to learn how to say that recently watching a video. I'm just going to say Longchamp because that's how I say it. I'm not French. I don't have a French accent. So there you go. You guys know. I'm very into Longchamp. I need to do a Longchamp collection video this month because I have added so much of it this year, or last year. And I recently discovered in November, December, the extra small size bags, as you're aware if you saw anything during Vlogmas, and I definitely want more of those. I have three. I want almost all of the others, and I wish they would come out with more and more special ones. I had the black one with the silver hardware on my wish list, but then Winnie got me that Prada nylon bag, and that serves the same purpose, so I don't think I'll add that bag. There is a leather puffy one that just went on sale at Saks. I'll link that if it's still available. There's also the, is it LCP? Where it has this very graphic print. Gwenny has one. It's not the extra small Le Pliage. It's the pouch, I think. And it's a very bold print. And I've seen it in person at TJ Maxx on other bags, like on a backpack that I wouldn't buy because I don't wear backpacks. And I really like it. I'm surprised that I like it so much. And I haven't purchased it because I don't know if that's something that I would actually carry with my wardrobe. Like, I feel like it's not really me, but I also really like it. 
that's a struggle sometimes, right? You really like something, but you know you're probably not going to carry it, so you have to really resist hard not buying it. You guys deal with that too, right? All right, Louis Vuitton. This is my longest wish list, but I'm definitely not going through all of these. I'll just go through a few highlights. Dale's Addiction has influenced me a lot in the last f couple of months. She got this trunk clutch. Oh my God, what a beautiful bag. I would love to have that. The price is not going to allow me to have that, but uh, wow. Also, tell me if you guys have felt this way. The price increases have gone up so much in the last few years that even if there's a bag that I really want and I could save up for it, I'm not willing to pay the prices that they're asking now. How about you guys? Like that bag, well hold on, let me let me not do that bag, let me do uh, this next bag. I love this one and what is it called? I saw this in the store and just fell in love with it. The Valisette Souple $25 hundred dollars. Might be more expensive by the time I do this video. I just, I mean, it's a little lunchbox bag with a handle and a strap. It's very small. It's basically a toiletry, a cosmetic toiletry that they've put a handle on and a few little strips of leather for decoration and added a strap and they're charging double the price of a toiletry. I would like to add more special bags. I added a few of those last year and this would certainly be one of those. I would like to add a few more special Louis Vuitton bags, but man, so many of their bags are over $3,000. And I mean, this is a little canvas one, 2,400. It's just hard for me to swallow. How about you? I still want to add the metal montant in the PM size. I would like to get it under fourteen hundred dollars in basically pristine condition, but that's a bag that hasn't aged well, and most of the bags that come up have quite a bit of damage to the Vachetta, so it's been very difficult to find. That may be one that I never add. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size, but the Mon Monogram, or My Heritage, they're calling it now, with the turquoise interior and green and turquoise stripes. And I go back and forth about that too, because it's a little more than $2,000. Would I use it? I'm sure I would. How often though? I don't know. Would I get six of the stripes. How well would it go with my wardrobe? Those are the colors I want though. I don't want to change the colors. I know you guys have told me I can get it without the stripes and stuff and just get the interior color which is a big sell for me but I want the stripes like if I want to pay that much I want to get everything. I don't know. I just I waffle about that, but it's always on my list. The cruiser earrings, impossible to find. I have the Rebecca Minkoff ones that I got as a replacement for those or a substitute and I like them a lot. I, I just can't justify $515 for a pair of costume jewelry earrings. I would love to get a Speedy, probably in the 20, 25, maybe 30 size range in emprunt leather. Totally okay with a pre-loved one someday. I, I think that would be a good staple piece for my collection. So I would like to get a new no A in the GM size. Perpetually on my wish list is the clay with the groom print with the yellow stripe. Probably won't get it at this point because the prices have gone up so much. I just waited too long. I want it in pristine condition with no damage to the illustration. <sighs> But they're upwards of $500 now, and I'm, I don't think I'm willing to spend that much on it. I would like some kind of luxury scrunchie. Prada one would be nice because I wear black the most, but I'm not paying what Prada wants for those things. Louis Vuitton has, as luxury scrunchies go, reasonably priced ones. They have a set of two for $335. One is monogram, one is reverse monogram. The problem is that they're not that on the back. They have a different fabric on the back. Why would they do that? because it doesn't look right when you have two different fabrics that are so mismatched. Like they could have done monogram on one side and reverse on the other, that would work. Or just monogram on both sides of one and reverse on both sides of one, that would have been perfect. And I would have them by now. Someone at Louis Vuitton screwed up and now I'm not gonna buy those. All right, those are the Louis Vuitton items I wanted to go over. The last item from my luxury wish list that I want to share with you is one that I also keep waffling about. And if they offered it in a green color, I would jump on it. They do have this pattern in green, but they don't offer this bag in the pattern with the green. Frustrating. It is the Versace La Greca Signature Mini Leather Shoulder Bag. It is adorable. Those little pouch thingies like this, they're shaped like this, have been hot for a while now. They've been very trendy. The great thing about this one is that it also has a shoulder strap. It's not just handheld. And I love that it's a little bag. It reminds me a lot of the Longchamp Extra Small Bags. And I like the brown print. 
it's nice. I like the Le Greca print. It's very pretty. If it was green, it would be perfect and I would have purchased it by now. I also worry a little about the structure or the, the usage of the bag itself. It seems like it'd be maybe difficult to get into the zipper with the handle so close. I think the handle unsnaps, but do I really want to unsnap that and snap it back up every time I get in and out of the bag? Not sure. The chain strap is removable. I could add a leather strap. I think it'd be the perfect size. I just haven't been able to jump on that, pull the trigger on it, so they say. Autumn of the future here, two things. One, I was editing this video and I discovered that there's another bag I want to add to this wish list. And that is this incredible YSL Lulu. This is in the small size. I don't know the official name of the color, but it's basically the Coach Buttercup color. <sighs> I need that in my life. It's the perfect bag for me, except it doesn't have a back pocket. The problem with it, and the reason I will never add it, is the price, $2,300-ish. For me, that's just too much for this bag. It's just not worth it. If I'm not willing to spend that much on a Louis Vuitton, then I'm definitely not willing to spend that much on a YSL bag. Other thing, I forgot to mention the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. I've had this on my list for years. I just haven't found the right one in the right condition at the right price. The one that's always been on the top of my list is the Blossoms print. It's the monogram coin purse, but it has this black, it's not a patent leather, but it's it looks like patent leather. It's this shiny blossom flowery print. And then the cloth around the zipper is black and the interior of the Zippy coin is black. It's gotten very hard to find that piece. And when you do find it, it's not in good condition or it's just too expensive so I haven't purchased that yet. Also I made a spreadsheet today. I'm a spreadsheet kind of person. I listed out all the things that I've mentioned in this video including the two things that I've just talking about now. And I asked myself some questions about them. I listed basic information like the brand and the item and the price and things like that, color. But I also asked myself, how rare is this item? How special is this item? How difficult is it to find? How much do I want it? <laughs> sort of rate on a scale. And that really helped me decide, because that's one of my problems sometimes, and that's been a problem lately, is I certainly don't have a limitless bank account. <laughs> It's, it's quite limited, although some people have disagreed with me on that, but trust me, it is. So I can't just go out and buy all these items on my wish list, so I have to prioritize them like most people would need to do. Sometimes you get a smaller amount of money where you could afford one of the less expensive items on the list, like say the Coach Tabby that's $400. Well, I could buy that compared to I need to save more for the Gucci bag that's $1,100. But then you have to factor in things like, well, the Gucci bag is more difficult to find, the tabby isn't, so keep saving, get the Gucci bag, right? But then also, how often would I realistically wear a piece? How well does it go in my wardrobe? Things like that. So that really helped me set priorities and figure out what I realistically should add and maybe what I should add sooner rather than later, and what I might want to cross off the list. Like, I'd love to have that Lulu bag, but not going to happen at that price point, especially when there are other things that I'd rather have instead. Although that would really be a staple piece in my collection. I would wear that color like long term and that bag is a great bag. So, you know, if it was under 2000 or preferably under 1500, that's when I would seriously consider. But at that price point, it, I just can't wrap my mind around that. It's too much for me. I'm just not willing to do it. So anyway, I discovered the Chanel flap card holder. That's a must have. I just over time need to add pieces as I find them. The problem with that piece is it's difficult to find the right one, even with the pre-loved market where they do tend to be more expensive. Otherwise you have to go to Chanel to get, you actually get them cheaper, brand new from Chanel than you do on the pre-loved market for the most part. But then the selection is so limited and you can't order from Chanel online. So it's a problem. And then especially during COVID, Chanel has had a line. I don't have a an associate there like I do at Louis Vuitton where I can skip the line. And I just haven't been willing to wait in the line to maybe they'll have a piece I want, you know? But that is something that I definitely want to add a few more of. I would really like the Gucci bag that's the Gigi Supreme print with the tiger and the flowers. I did remember in that listing, it's missing the strap, the green and red Gucci webbing strap. However, I have that strap from my other Gucci Dionysus hobo, the one with the dogs on it. It's the same strap, so I could just switch it out. It would just be a problem if I ever try to sell it 
but I don't think I would. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you all that in case that might be helpful for you to make a spreadsheet or some kind of priorities list like that, because we're all in the same boat here. Most of us cannot afford to just buy anything we want whenever we want, so we gotta make plans. All right, now back to previous autumn with her hair down. Well, that is my luxury wish list. Tell me in the comment section what I missed, what I still need to add to my collection that I have not mentioned in this wish list, and also what's on your wish list, whether it's luxury items, contemporary brands, a house, a car, whatever. Let me know. I'd love to hear what you've been thinking about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope your 2022 is better than the last few years. Hope you're doing well. Hope your loved ones are doing well. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Oh, and I hope all of your wishes come true. Bye, guys.